All right, hello and welcome to another VEX Code IQ tutorial. For today's lesson, or today's video, we are going to be going through the Draw a Triangle activity. Now, this activity is designed for VEX Code VR, but we are going to be using the VEX Code IQ program so that we can program our robots here to draw a triangle on its own. So, I am going to take you through the activity and beginning on the coding and then I'm going to just remind you how we can put the code from the program onto the robot. So, if we have a look now, if we have a look at our classes, our lessons here, we're, want, we're, want, we're going to want to pick the draw a triangle with gyro. So, if we have a look at our robot, on the front we have all our devices. The front is the sensor, we're not going to worry about that for this lesson. The main thing that we're focusing on is this middle one here with the Z. Is the camera going to focus? Yep, with the Z, that's the gyro. So that programs the robot. When we program it, it understands uh, the location that it's in with kind of like the um, balance and just resets the degrees that it turns. It might just be a lot of words that we don't understand, but as we're breaking it down, it'll make more sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick the draw a triangle one. Now, I've already started going through it, but this is what we're going to want to focus on. So as you can see here, we're doing a draw a triangle with gyro. Now, let's have a look at our three levels. We each one, it's going to want us to draw a triangle and it's asking us to use a pen. Now, we don't have a pen attached to the robot on a piece of paper or anything because this is designed for the VEX VR program where you program the virtual robot that does have a pen. Now, I'm not going to stop you from trying the challenge of putting a pen on the robot to see if it can actually draw. But for now, just focus on making the robot move in the triangle shape. That's our main goal. So, we have three. So, the first level just asks us to draw a triangle, any triangle, which will be, let's say, this one, just the basic equilateral triangle, which means all three sides are the same length and all three angles are the same. That's important. Level two asks us to draw a right angle triangle where one angle is 90 degrees. Now remember, a right angle triangle always has one 90 degree side. And then level three is the same, it's another right angle, but it means that one angle is 90, but it wants our second angle, which is 60 degrees. So for now, we're just gonna focus on level one, where we're going to try replicate the shape of this triangle. So what you're going to do is, you're going to open up your VEX code IQ program now. You can either look it up on the on Google. So if you look up codeiq.vex.com, so codeiq.vex.com, it'll take you to the web version of Vex Code IQ. Now we're not going to worry about using that. We are going to use this, our actual program. So just to get started at the top, we're going to do this first. As you can see, it has the name. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to save it. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to rename it with what you're going to, uh, with the name of the program that we're doing. So with this one, it's draw a triangle. So I'm just going to quickly do that. So if I click on it, and draw a triangle code. There we go. So now that's the name. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to set up our devices. Now, remember the devices, the main ones that we're focusing on on the robot. I'll just change the camera. There we go. So the main one is going to be the gyro. Remember this one at the in the middle. And then for this one, it's just the two motors underneath. Now, some of you might remember how to do this. We're only going to have to worry about adding one thing. So if we go into the top right, 
corner where there's the three white dots, we're going to pick the middle one, the one that looks like a little, uh, like almost like a USB. And as you can see, we have nothing added. Now we want to make sure that we have first gen selected. For me, it's already selected because all our programs and devices that we use are the first generation ones. We're going to click add device and it's going to bring us up to this screen. Now, what we're going to want to pick is just this second one on the top, the drivetrain two motor. If we click that, oh, now I accidentally clicked something. I'm just going to cancel that. We're going to try that again. So we're going to go add device, drivetrain two motor. There we go. So it, it asks us which port it wants us to select for the left motor. Now, if we get our robot back up, Remember the ports are everything that's connected to the brain. So remember there's all the numbers. Now, if we have a look, we remember our left motor was connected to one, our right motor was connected to the port six, and then our gyro, which is that middle one with the Z on it, we're selecting number four. And then we don't have to worry about this. This is all okay. We just click done and we've set up what we need to do. So we have our the three devices that we needed to add, the two motors and the gyro. Now, what we wanna do is we want to make the robot turn to make a shape of a triangle. Now, if we go back, we're gonna try this block. So it says helpful hints. Use the turn to heading block from the drivetrain category to turn the robot to the correct direction. Now, there's two ways we can go about this. We can use that hint to use this turn heading, which basically means when the gyro cal calibrates, it'll calibrate at zero. When we turn the heading, it's almost like a compass. So it starts at zero. If we were to turn 90, it will turn 90 degrees that way. So say it would face east, um, or it would turn 90 degrees. So it always thinks, it thinks like in a circle. So we can try that, or we can just do it normally with our normal turn right. So the triangle we're drawing, like I said before, is an equilateral triangle, which means all three sides are the same length and all three angles are the same length. That makes it easy for us because we know we have to take our drive forward block and our turn right block and the numbers will always be the same, more or less. So for the drive forward, let's say, let's say we're gonna make it drive forward 500 millimeters. So we know every time we draw it, I'm gonna duplicate that block. We're gonna have three sides. All these three sides are going to be 500 millimeters. We don't have to worry about that. Now, so it drives forward 500 millimeters. We now want to make it turn. Now, what we want to do is we need to know first the interior angles of the triangle. So the interior angle is, if we go back, the interior angle are these angles on the inside. With a triangle or a three-sided shape, if we add up all three angles, we get 180 degrees. So we know that because if all three angles are the same, we just have to divide 180 by three, which will give us 60. So we know each angle on the inside has to be 60 degrees. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Before I said that all the sides that it turns will be the same. Now, you'd think that we'd have to turn at 60 degrees. That's the trick though. So let's say if our robot starts on this line here, this right corner, it drives along here. So let's say that's 500 millimeters. We then have to make sure that it turns all the way around so that it's facing this way currently. 
So at the moment, it is facing left. We want to make sure that it turns up, but then also turns a little bit this way. So we know, just like I said before, if we're thinking of it on a compass rose or just like a normal, normal degrees, um, if we think up, left, down, right, so north, east, south, west, um, we know if it's facing left to face up, we need to turn it 90 degrees. We then need to figure out how far it needs to turn to go the rest of the way. If we were to turn it all the way around, it would become 180 degrees. Now, we know that from facing up to facing right, it will be 90 degrees. And we know if this middle bit here is 60, we know that from facing up to facing right it needs to turn 90. So we do 90 minus 60, which equals 30. It's a lot of numbers. This is the key bit. If you're confused, this is what you need to know. From facing left, we need to do it diagonally up and to the right. So that means it turns 90 plus 30, which is 120. So we know that it is going to turn 120 degrees each time because once it then goes up here, it still has to turn 120 degrees to get from facing diagonally up to the right to diagonally down to the right. And then when it gets back here, it'll do the same rotation to go back to its starting point. Now, so we know if we duplicate these two blocks, we just have to make sure that it's copy and pasted three times. That's our triangle. That'll be the code to make it draw in the shape of a triangle, move in the shape of a triangle. So, this is the code for your first draw triangle. So remember, if we wanna upload it to the robot, you take your cable. So you should have a USB cable. So what you do is you take the thin side, the small side, that'll plug into the side of the robot brain, like this. The other side you take and you plug it in to your computer. Now, I'm just gonna quickly change my cameras again. So, because I want you to have a look in the top right here where it says the brain. When I plug it in, It should go on. Now, it didn't for me because I didn't have the robot on. So first we're gonna make sure we turn the robot on. Once it turns on, as you can see, it's gone green up the top, which means it is connected. So what we do now is we have our title or the name of our code. We pick what slot we wanna put it in. So I'm gonna just keep it in slot one. We press download going to come up with this screen. It's going to download onto our robot. So I'm going to unplug it. And if you have a look on the screen of your robot, it should say the name of your program. So we have a look. The first one here, it says draw a triangle. That's what we want. That's what we want it to say. So now I'll go back. So that's what we've got. That's what we want it to show. We've now successfully put it in. For level two and three, it'll help if you draw out a triangle with these beforehand. So you know how long each angle needs to be as well as the sides. If you need extra help with it, you can Google right angle triangles and Google the angles for right angle triangles and it'll come up with 
all the angles that you need. That'll help you for level two and three. So hopefully now that we've done level one together, it should work. See if you can try and make it draw with a pen. See if you can try to do level two and three. If you can't figure it out, trial and error. That's what you're gonna have to, that'll be one way you can do it. The second way is look it up. But I hope that you are going to be able to do it successfully and see if you can complete all of them. Once you do, make sure you upload the screenshot of the highest level you did and annotate it. And then that's it. So good luck. I can't wait to see what you make.